Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome to Heavy Fire Red Shadow. Shadow. All right, guys, this is a uh, VR game, uh, and we are not going to be playing in VR since we don't have VR. We're just going to be playing with a regular controller. However, it does look like it'd be an interesting game to play at VR if it didn't make you sick. Uh, this is uh, essentially like one of those those arcade games. You, I don't know if you remember those jinx where you had to put like the mat, the helmet on, and then you'd spin around in circles I never and shoot. Any of those? Oh, well, I used to I used to dig those games. It'd always be like you're defending some beach or something like that. Like, Do you forget where I grew up? Like, we didn't have any of that. You didn't have any arcades? <laughs> uh, yeah, but we had like old games. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx is like the we just had Mortal Kombat. Badass arcade that we had was Aladdin's Castle, and Aladdin's yeah, Castle. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's called Aladdin's Castle, and, and that it was, was in the badass. It, yes, it was badass. It had all kinds of awesome games. Like it would have had one of those had it survived long enough. Uh, so we're gonna be playing the Gun Beach Night. As I said, it always seems like these games are always on beaches, so they can throw a lot of. A lot of different types of enemies at you. Dudes. Uh, yeah, and it is like a wave-based type of game. Uh, this is probably going to be the only video that we do of it since it is, you know, it's a like, wave-based game. Just shoot the dudes. It's just shooting After dudes. Many years of promising negotiations and apparent progress, followed by crushing disappointment, tensions between the U.S. and North Korea are approaching a crisis as the North returned to threaten surrounding countries with missile tests and its trademark posturing. The U.S. responded by deploying the THAAD, a highly advanced air defense system to intercept their missiles mid-flight. This provoked surprisingly large-scale protests in South Korea, a country under THAAD protection. The North launched a sophisticated campaign of misinformation and propaganda to focus this anger. The ultimate goal? drive apart the two traditional allies and swing the upcoming South Korean presidential race to a hard left pro Pyongyang nationalist candidate. Well, this shit just got real. Yeah, this is like story and everything. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it's it's Korea. It's it's always the Koreans, guys, um, that you got to fight in these games uh, since they're the one kind of like recognized enemy i guess of america although we're starting to be friendly with the koreans i know i thought we were bros now yeah we're starting to be oh we got uh we got enemies coming guys so i did play the tutorial already guys uh try and kind of get familiar with the gameplay you just shoot everybody yeah but there's a lot of different buttons and stuff you can press uh so there's a little um oh, we gotta reload so uh up above You'll see that green bar. Mm -hmm. That's our health. Okay. And the blue bar is our, I guess like our... Our legend our status. Yeah, that'll work. I was going to say like a combat multiplier or something. Yeah, I guess you could say that it's our, our legend, legendary like, status. They're going to talk about us. Yeah, like they'll talk awesome about us. How we are. Uh, in the history books. And how fucking fantastic we were. Uh, but that once that fills up, that allows you to use one of the... One of the the little things that you can call up here. So whether you want to call supplies, which is that crate uh, looking There's thing, ship. you can call uh, infantry troops, uh, you can call artillery or uh, airstrike. There's also a support helicopter you can call. So those are the options above. I don't really like their color system. I mean, I guess well, because green makes sense. traditionally makes you think of of allies, right? Green is good. Yeah. Uh, enemies but yeah he's on the beaches weren't you saying it's like a threat level i don't know that's what i was guessing i don't know if it told me in the tutorial what <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i was just shooting guys i was having fun uh, so i don't know if it's like a threat level um or perhaps probably not health because it seems to adjust uh regardless of whether i hit him or not so yeah probably threat level i suppose that makes sense if they're red then they're actually hitting you <laughs> all right so i'm yellow, trying to shoot a rocket at this bad. guy but apparently you we have no used rockets. all of our rockets. All right, so by leveling up, you get points for new powerful skills. Press this button to open the skills menu. <gasps> we can become a Spartan, Jinx. Whoa. So player health is increased. Um, what do we have here? Uh, oh, so we get to pick what we want. So we can increase our rockets, our quick reloading. Uh, we can increase uh, machine gun ability. Uh, it'll improve stability during continuous fire. Or we can get extra supplies from the dropships. I said let's increase our health. Uh, what else do we get? That is all. 
Get Berserker. Killing enemies now restores health. You can get fangs. <laughs> All right. What? What? Did he say I failed? I think he did. Did he just call me a failure? <sighs> All right. So we only, we can call, we can bring some dudes. Or do you think we should get supplies since we have no rockets? I guess we'll pull. We need rockets. Yeah, we'll get rockets. I don't remember how to call the stuff, though. I thought it was a directional pad. The directional pod is how you move it around. You know what? We're going to go ahead and take a look at the controls real quick because I don't remember how to support called L1. All right, so L1. Supply drop, is on its way. Supply drop on its way. And then we're going to get this loud-ass fucking plane that goes by. They're loud as hell, guys. It sounds pretty realistic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Jinx is going to provide additional sound effects as yeah, if we needed it. because there's not enough. If you didn't know, Jinx and I were both in the military. Um... I thought you were going to tell everybody oh, I'm, I'm trying to get into voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx tries to tell everybody that shit every chance she gets. Trying to get into voice acting, tell all the developers you know. I'll do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of guys over here, man. Oh, there's tons of dudes. Uh, but yeah, I remember loving these type of games in the arcade. Uh, just spraying. I like the ones with the guns. Yeah, yeah. Well, in... The 360 mode ones like this, like I said, you usually had a helmet, and then yeah, you had like triggers on the side of the I'm helmet. I'm just thinking of how nasty that thing would be. I'm just gonna let that dude live right there. He's gonna he's gonna be the one dude who survives this. Lives to tail the tail. Mm -hmm. You gotta let somebody live. Oh, no. I didn't even shoot him. He just died. He just fell Maybe over. He tripped. tripped. <laughs> Shot himself. These beaches are dangerous, Jinx. Well, he's that level green. Like. Well, <laughs> <laughs> these days, you go on the beach, you can't walk barefoot anymore. No, there's and glass, glass and all kinds of shit. Needles and I'm all kinds of other shit. Them? I have no idea what I'm I'm just shooting. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to do it. Usually blue. See, the blue is the good stuff. Oh, that's stuff. our stuff. Yeah. All right, so. I'm curious. Does anyone actually have VR? Like, is that like a thing still? Some people have VRs. And do you actually play it or does it sit on the shelf? Well, there's not a ton of <laughs> VR games. There's not a ton of VR experiences. Um, but from the ones I've seen, they look pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's something Yeah, we just haven't been able to uh, get into. I'm just wondering if it's going to be one of those novelty things. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of like uh, Connect, You know, where it just uh, dies off and doesn't get any support. Or uh, if it's something that we're going to see for our you know, exist for a little bit longer. Uh, I kind of feel like it, it might stick around just because you're still seeing a lot of support for VR despite the fact that, uh, a lot you know, of there hasn't like really been... A indie games. Yeah, yeah. It, I don't know. It just seems really amazing to me. I feel um, like it needs some big titles. But oh, I know that up. they probably wouldn't make enough money for it. Well, Resident Evil... Uh, remember the Resident Evil we played? What oh, was that, Resident yeah, Evil 6? True. There was a VR, VR mode for that. My problem with VR is how they they reduce the graphical fidelity of all the, the games. So, like, if you looked at Resident Evil 6 when you are playing VR, like, it looked like garbage. And it looks so bad. And I know that you're getting an additional experience from it. Yeah. Like you know, with the being in, Yeah, exactly. It's in VR. I was there. You know, blowing up those uh, boats, there'd be a ton of shrapnel. Anybody standing next to that boat would know, right? get all fucked up. They're just up. chill. Like, what I haven't even doing? needed to use any of our stuff that we got up here. You're, what about that spatula? The spatula? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's artillery support, Jinx. Oh, shit. I thought we were going to make some burgers. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't talk about food, Jinx. I know. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry, and we still haven't figured out dinner yet. Dinner is like the worst thing ever. I um, hate it. I just want to quit eating. Yeah, well... Sometimes I think about suicide when <laughs> we have to come up with dinner for the day. I'm just like, like uh, I'd rather just die. First world problems, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you're not thinking about if you're gonna eat dinner tonight. You're gonna think, trying to figure out what of your many choices know, right? you're gonna you're gonna eat. That is pretty sad. That is sad. But whatever, it's real. Oh shit! You shot a fucking <laughs> rocket at me, Jinx. They're All right, so yeah, I think it is. Rocket. I think it is threat level because he turned red as soon as he had that rocket. All right, and yeah, yellow. I'm guessing means he's aiming at me, getting ready but he to shoot his rocket. Uh, how many there left? Watch out for your blue fellers. 
Yeah, those are the ones we call. That's the only thing I've used so far. <laughs> uh, I just use my dudes. Because it gets lonely on the beach. Yeah, I need somebody to sit in my lap and come hold my hand. Take cover. All right, so. There's boats. More enemies coming. But yeah, I remember back in the day when I didn't know if I was going to get dinner or not. Yeah. And Timmy's all grumpy. Mm-hmm. There was a, a time, guys, and we told this story before, where we did not... When we got to the Army, we had a really rough time of it. I don't know. The, the United States here is not a very kind place to uh, soldiers, um, as far as, like, really the economy. <laughs> um, I think everybody will tell you how much they appreciate your service. As soon as anybody finds out that you're in the military, like, oh, thank you for your service. But when it comes to actually providing you a job as a soldier where you don't really have any, like, you know, education mm-hmm. or real real world experience. Work experience. I was artillery, you guys. And you know what I learned <laughs> after I got out of the Army's artillery is that uh, it's a useless skill in the civilian world. <laughs> there is no civilian artillery for whatever reason. Like, I don't know why. Like, do you why. need something blown up? Yeah. So, I, I, I mean, I probably should have went in uh, a job that, you know, translated better to the, the uh, outside world. Unfortunately, I didn't get that option, guys. When I joined, I had a GED, and this was back when the Army was all discriminated against GEDs and didn't want anybody that had a GED. And uh, they only offered me three jobs. They said infantry, artillery, or cook. Yeah, that's bad. And I said, well, I know I ain't going to be no goddamn cook. I didn't join the (laughs) Army to be a fucking cook. Uh, Make some prison food. (laughs) Yeah, make that nasty-ass food. Uh, Even if it was quality food, I don't want to cook it. I don't want to work around food. I might as well just stayed out of the army and worked at fucking Burger King or something like that. Burger King wouldn't have hired you because you're white. (laughs) What? (laughs) They didn't hire me. That wasn't Burger King, Jinx. No, it was Carl's Jr. That was only in certain areas, Jinx. This is (laughs) in Arizona Arizona. specifically, guys. The fast food places don't hire white people. It's a true story. Um, it's just because all the managers are, are Mexican and they want people who speak, his, uh, speak Hispanic <laughs> that speak Mexican. Um, so yeah, we were not able to, and this is all part of the same story, I guess, Smashing yeah, Pumpkins. Oh, I love Smashing Pumpkins. Um, so yeah, this is all part of the same story and we were at the point where we were applying to fast food places. And they didn't want Are these me. guys going to try to bomb me? Yeah. No, they're oh, just going to run gonna come at up. You. Oh, wow. Look at them. Oh, shit. All right, we're getting shot at. I don't think my health is doing too well. Do I have any upgrades or anything? Oh, I do have available points. Um, improved stability, reloading. You can um, get three spatulas. Rocket launchers. <laughs> it's now twice as fast. Yeah, I guess we'll do that one because it, it takes forever to reload them. And you I get think wet. the rest of these all take uh, a few more available points, so we're going to wait. We should probably get some assistance on the next yeah, one. Call on some dudes. Yeah, once we... Is there uh, one guy laying down there? Where? Right there. Oh, yeah, there is. What's he doing? Hiding. Oh. <laughs> he blew me up. Damn, he blew himself up, too. Uh, but, yeah, we were when we got out of the Army, we were even applying to fast food jobs and couldn't get them because uh, we didn't speak Espanol. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that, that's it's just everybody will tell you how much they appreciate your service, but when it comes to giving you a damn job... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't get one. Uh, so yeah, that was a that was a problem for us when we got out of the military, just trying to get some work. Uh, and we uh, we starved, guys. We really did. I think I need to call assistance. Actually, like, I'm. I bet you can hear my stomach. <laughs> yeah. We're not starving right now. We're like, not. Don't send not us legitimately. Food packages. Yeah, we're not. We'll go get some starving. grub after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think we're doing so right. We should probably call the plane as well. Rockets. I yeah, got rockets, what were jinx. we living on, like, ramen noodles? Like a pack of ramen? Yeah, we would eat, like, a pack of ramen noodles a day. And then, like, a spoon of peanut butter. A spoon. I think the peanut butter is what kept us alive. I think it was. And, yeah, we were to the point where we were, like, stealing. Like, literally stealing from stores just to have some food. Yeah. It was pretty hot bad. dogs. Yeah, whatever. Just food. We weren't greedy. Yeah, we weren't greedy. <laughs> we got the cheapest of everything. Uh-huh, like a can of tuna and shit because mm-hmm. it was so, so bad. Like, we had no food. And we didn't know anybody. We didn't have any friends and family uh, in Arizona. So, yeah, because my family it was ostracized me. So <laughs> <laughs> the few people I knew weren't too happy about things I had done. Uh, like, weren't, marry me. <laughs> yeah, they weren't happy about me getting out of the military. So, you got to redo it? Did I fail? Did you fail? You died? I think I failed. I think I died. Oh, shit. I think I gotta redo it. Yeah. I must have died. I wasn't. All right, this time, 
we're gonna we're gonna survive guys okay <laughs> um but yeah it was it was it was rough getting out of the military guys um couldn't get a damn job you have a new side mission a new maybe side we mission. should like complete the side mission eliminate this 12 time. enemies all right we can do this do we have to get the upgrades again i wonder See, you'd think with me knocking out trophies I left know, and right, right, I'd be doing pretty good. I thought we were doing what we were supposed to do, killing stuff. All right, it seems that you do get to keep all the stuff that you upgrade, though, so that's nice. All right, so points. health slowly regenerates. We should probably get that so that we don't die this time. All right, so we'll have to start paying attention to our... I cannot hit this guy. Because he's hiding. And he's dipping and weaving this fucking Neo, man. Come on, come on, come on. It just seems like they're not even, like, concerned with you at first. Yeah, they don't really... It, it gives you a little bit of time. They're just, like, blindly on. running on the beach. Get them. Like, hey, friends, come land here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what do you want to call for our first uh, a bit of assistance? Spatula fellers. It's That's artillery jinx. <laughs> We're going to call artillery because jinx really wants the spatula. It doesn't, doesn't even look spatula. like. It doesn't even look like a spatula. Sure it does. All it's right, like a burger so. flipper. <laughs> Call in the cooks. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be some cooks that are gonna be like, "Why didn't you want to be a cook? What was wrong with being a cook? I just didn't want to cook." Food Everybody knows what's wrong with being a cook. Mm -hmm. The cooks do hate everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, then I was so I got the choice when I went in, you know, because of the GD. They said, uh, "Well, you." you if you're not gonna be a cook, then it's infantry or artillery. And you know me, I'm like, what's the difference? And they said, uh, well, infantry. And this is what my recruiter literally said to me, guys. He said, infantry marches everywhere, and artillery gets towed. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, I will ride in the fucking trucks then, man. Give me the trucks. All right, let's call our dudes over to help I us. I know, right? We're not doing so great. No, we're not. I'm doing way worse than I did last time. We're surrounded. I'm just gonna shoot a rocket over there. Just rockets everywhere. Rockets. One. I think there's one like on the right here that's fucking me up. Oh, really that bad. one yep, guy. Yep, that one guy. Fucking Rambo. Mm hmm. You gotta worry about Rambo. Well, yeah, you always got the uh, one man killing machine, usually played by Arnold Schwarzenegger or uh, Sylvester Stallone. I wanna be the one man killing machine. And what's crazy is these motherfuckers are still doing movies, man. The, I know, the, the right? Expendables. I almost call it the them. Dispendables. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna dispense with them. Yeah, the Expendables. We've we, we didn't we try and watch the first one, yeah. and we just weren't able to really just, like, eh. just weren't digging it. Like, and I'm fan. Of, I'm a fan of the old '90s action movies. I was oh, like, yeah. I used to love those movies, man. And all those old dudes are great. Yeah, doesn't necessarily mean that I want to watch the, the movies though. <laughs> I called infantry support already. We got dudes all around us, man. I know, right? What are they doing? All right, let's kill these dudes here. Three kamikaze enemies. Oh, the kamikaze enemies. Those are the ones that are run up and oh, shit. trying to explode you. All right, That's so kill them, rude. dude. All right, so they want me to kill three of them uh, in order to achieve the objective. So we're going to try and get the spatula if they'd ever unlock it for me. There we go, artillery <laughs> support. Spatula away. Maybe we should wait till we need this support, though. I don't know. What do you think, Jinx? Jinx is like, just fucking we do need it. it. There's nobody that it will kill. Everyone is hungry. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, there's still a guy. That one dude. There we go. Wait, let somebody else get Wave kill. complete. All right, as soon as we get like a full wave where we have a lot of enemies again, I'll call the, the spatula. It'll time. be too late. Tummies will grumble. All right, wave is broaching. All right, we got more ships coming. Is everybody having a good week? I had three days off this week. It yeah. was fucking amazing. Well, I, yeah, the reason for that is I actually had a weird work day I had to do. Uh, some of you guys are aware of this. Those are fans of the, of the uh, Hearts of Iron 4 content uh, where I had to uh, cover for somebody who had a, a court date that they needed to go to. Um, I work security, by the way, so sometimes when you have, uh, you know, legal issues, when you have guys that uh, you got to call the police on, then you got to go appear in court and... Testify. And testify. Uh, so yeah, this guy had to testify. Let's go ahead and call the spatula. 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 I'm calling the spatula, guys. <laughs> All right. So they're gonna provide uh, artillery support, and I missed. Oh damn. That's embarrassing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, but yeah, he had to. He was supposed to go to court that day, 
uh, so that he could testify on uh, some incident that he had. Um, and damn, we're getting fucked up. Who's fucking yeah, me up so bad? I don't know, but like, all our friends are dead. Yeah, all of our friends are dead. Jesus Christ. All right, so that let's sucks. see if we can't call in some more support. I don't think some we can. More dudes. Uh-oh. Is that one? No, that's a that's a Rocket guy. guy. All right, so this is where we died last time. I don't think we ever got past this wave. So this time, guys, we're going to make it happen. Oh, there, there they are. Oh, shit. There they are. All right, we got them. Oh, wow, they really are. Yeah, they are just, like, sprinting towards coming us. Coming right for you. Coming right for me. But yeah, right. I meant to, like, do some shit, play some games, but I just read. Yeah, you were just reading all day while I was at work. <laughs> uh, and it, what, what are you reading? Why don't you the tell Outsider all the folks? The Outsider with Stephen King. And Stephen King. It's well, with Stephen up. King? Yeah, it's with him. <laughs> He's a star of it. Yeah. He always stars in all his, <laughs> all his stuff. <laughs> he does set all his stuff in Maine. Is this one no, in Maine? No, this one's in Oklahoma. Oh, okay. He often does set everything in Maine, which I think is where he's from. We have another wave coming, Jason. Yeah, he just lives in a cabin in the woods. Mm hmm. That's what I would do if I was a. Maybe not a cabin. It'd be kind of nice. Creepy ass shit. Oh, my gosh. We were. I was looking. Or not we. I was. I was looking at houses in Maine, and I found like a creepy uh -huh. Amityville horror kind of house on like three acres of land for like hella cheap. And I'm like, that's the house for us. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna try and destroy this with rockets this time like guys. oh we got this house for a steal what could go wrong <laughs> <laughs> oh we don't have any more rockets all right we better call assistance and then you know what i'd write a fucking book about it oh i don't great. think we're gonna make it jinx there are guys everywhere and we got no assistance except oh, for a no. plane to drop off health that's not even what i wanted oh uh oh, uh -oh. but is it what you needed i don't know <laughs> I guess we'll call in uh, another airstrike. Cause planes are awesome. Ooh, oh, yeah. Lord. Ah. <laughs> There's so many dudes. Oh, no. Oh, good God. And I need to, like, move the camera like or something. a truck full of dudes. Yeah, a truck full of dudes. Truck full oh, of sausages. Just a truck full of truck. <laughs> no, I blew it up before they were able to get out. Because I got skills. Uh, so what's our side mission? Do not get hit by a kamikaze enemy. Oh, we can complete oh, that. Oh, yeah. I don't even see any kamikazes. Right, look, that that dude looks like nicks. a mortar dude. All right, so I think we completed the wave. We made it. Ta-da! I'm ready for a new mission. All right, so we move in a wave four that we're at right now. Oh, we have a, you. we've got a ton of upgrades. Let's go ahead and... Or no, I guess we got two. That's not really a ton, but... Health crates now restore 100% health. Uh, we could get the stabilizer. Kinetic rounds. Bolts now always cause kamikazes to explode immediately. Uh, uh, explosions. Rocket explosions set targets on fire. Well, shit. Artillery barrage now lasts 15 seconds longer. Allied soldiers have more health. I don't know. There's so many options. I know. What do you What do you get? I kind of feel like we should get something from the machine gun. Yeah. Let's get the stabilizer. Because it's our main cheap. weapon. Yeah, it's cheap. I'm a cheap guy. I like to save money wherever really possible. <laughs> Jake's always commenting <laughs> on my cheapness. And that's I the mean, only reason why, you know, notice how we're no longer starving, guys. That's why. <laughs> you know what? how we end up fixing all of our economic trouble? I took over complete control of the money. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's Jinx been now like just over get, a decade later. <laughs> Jinx now just gets allowances. <laughs> I have grown up since then. <laughs> Oh, we got kamikaze I'm guys. I'm more responsible. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Jinx. Funny and completely untrue. You know, untrue. you laugh. <laughs> There's going to be a rebellion on hand. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I manage the money now, guys, so that we don't starve anymore because it's just not fun starving. Let's call on a wave of dudes. Let's get some more Having men. Having children made me much more responsible. It's true. You are more responsible, Jinx. I'm not going to say you're not more responsible than you used to be. You used to be really... Really well, bad. <laughs> Anything would have been an improvement <laughs> before <laughs> what I once was. Yeah, and we got just a little bit of money, like, and then you I'm know there's shopping. bills to be paid. But Jinx is like, you know what? Let's celebrate. <laughs> and I know I've said this one before, and I'll keep bringing it up, guys, because <laughs> why wouldn't I? We do not have any goddamn rockets. We're gonna have to call some rockets. Um, Jinx, when when we met, when we were dating. She had one bill, oh, guys. God. Just one bill. Just her phone bill. That's mm -hmm. it. And she still could not pay that one bill. I had to give her out a second phone that my phone company had given me for, you know, they back in the day, they used to have all those extra phones that you get. Like, you get 
an extra line. Like, what am I going to do? I'm a single dude. I don't need fucking five extra lines. That's for you bitch. You can't pay her phone bill. Yep, and that's what I used it for. <laughs> it's for my lady who couldn't pay her damn phone bill. So I gave her my extra phone. Why so. <laughs> did I need to pay my phone bill? When I, if you want to talk to me, pay my phone bill. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't going to pay her phone bill. And so I just gave her my phone because her phone bill was like ridiculously expensive. <laughs> it was like way more expensive than my bill. Uh, so they want me to call more troops. We got dudes. We don't need more troops. Uh, I want to call. Why can't I call the artillery or gun or something? Yeah, so he gave me a shitty old flip phone that didn't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you saying a shitty old flip phone? That was what everybody had back then. I had a razor. Way. Thank you very much. You did have a razor. <laughs> I had a flip phone though. So this was back before smartphones. Yeah, by the way, nothing. Guys. Yeah, there was no what are you smartphones. About? My phone accessed the internet. It was it, just all weird. It wasn't a smartphone though. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> It wasn't a touch screen or nothing. No. Which is exactly the problem with those phones that weren't touch phones. You know, they uh you know they they didn't have uh instead had regular old buttons. Yeah. <laughs> and then you'd butt dial people all the fucking time. <laughs> uh can we get all these guys killed? Can I call let's call in a I should have called in a helicopter. We haven't called one yeah. of those in yet. Call in the job. Seems like there's somebody behind me that's causing it feels problems. Like there's dudes everywhere. Yeah, this is. I just want to know where we're at and why we're alone. They told us already. Well, it didn't tell us why we're alone, but we're not alone. We have all kinds of support. Like things. we got dudes coming from the hills, dudes coming from the water. Like, what are we actually defending? We're in Korea. Just this one spot and we're defending. On the beach. North Koreans are fighting, are attacking, the South, and we're defending the South. James. I get it. Like we have, like, one person had to go find a spot on the beach. Mm-hmm. While the other person went and parked the car. Yeah, that's basically. So you gotta hold down your spot because mm-hmm. beaches are fucking terrible and crowded. <laughs> they are. They are very crowded. That's like any any kind of touristy spot though. Is all the other goddamn tourists take the fun out of being a damn tourist, know, man? Right? <laughs> like you guys aren't allowed to be here. Like I'm here. I don't even want to. Oh, it seems like he might have something I might want to destroy him for. I wonder if I can get him. I don't think so. I think it takes, like, what, five or six right, rockets well we have, for that guy? We have one more rocket. Well. That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right, we'll have to call more rockets. Yeah, he drops off those vehicles. Well, I was wondering if he had something, like, more deadly than just the, the troop full of the sausages. Dudes. Yeah. <sighs> sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I got some sausage for you, Jinx, if you really want some. You don't want what I would do to a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna maul a sausage, <laughs> yes. oh, savagely. Come on, destroy it. I know, surely everyone in there is dead. Uh, you talking about mauling sa- sausages <laughs> is probably uh, getting people riled up in the in the comments. I'm sausages sure. <laughs> have rights too. Uh, God damn it! There's a lot of dudes. I don't think I'm doing so well. My health looks all right. It's fine. Yeah, it's they great. They keep dropping health for you. I need what I need is more rockets, man. I know, right? Over here, looking at the rockets. We got no firing. rockets. Yeah, yep. Yeah, it's a serious problem. We gotta kill two more RPG fellers. All right, well we got this. There's one right there. Headshot. I think we just did it. All right, so what we need to do is take a look at what we can get. Uh, we got more points, guys. Uh, killing enemies now restores health. Okay. That seems useful. But you know what it feels like? We need better weapons right now, man. We need more rockets. Explosions. Rounds fire. explode on impact, dealing extra damage. Well, that sounds cool as shit. We'll get that. Oh, I didn't know you could skip whatever. Can I blow that up? Yeah, you can just... I was you thinking you had to, to go in order. In order. Ah, get him, dog. He's it doesn't seem like it's exploding. It no, it's not. Oh, there's another health pack. We don't really need health, though. Not I yet. wonder if you can just leave it sitting there. Surely. And and get it later. I keep calling this this guy for some fucking rockets, and they just keep on dropping health off. I know. Fucking ass. Oh, fuck. I think a kamikaze guy might have just blown me up. I think he did. It's all explosion. Yeah, they keep just dropping health off. Uh, fuck you. I don't need it. It's not what we need. I need rockets, man. All right, there's a guy hiding over there in the rocks. Or, uh, behind the, the tank, uh, tank stop The things. stopper thingy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are those called? Tank? Oh, they're called something. They're called Did we win? Jacks. Mission accomplished. Woohoo! All right, excellent. So now we can go to the next mission. Maybe I hit exit instead of next mission. No, nah, because we died. We had to have died. We didn't get as far as we did this past time. All right, so now we're... And we're back 
on the beach. We're again. on a beach again. Well, they wouldn't be. Able, it's the same it's beach. It's the same goddamn beach. Is this really the same? This time it's not night, though. That's the difference. Oh. Yeah, it's not night. We better have some different maps. I swear, man. It better not be the same damn map uh, over and over How again. How much is this game? I don't know. We didn't we didn't buy it, so I'm not entirely That's sure. True. It's not out yet. Uh, the game's going to be coming out. We probably should have told you guys this in the beginning. <laughs> uh, for those if of you we were interested. better YouTubers. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, the game comes out. Rocket. game comes out on Thursday, I think. Yeah, I believe it comes out on Thursday. Uh, it's going to be on... Oh, no, 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 no. Got him. It's going to be on uh, PS4. That's what we're playing on right now, of course. PS4 Pro. Uh, it's going to be on Xbox, I believe, and PC. Uh, where's the guy that's over here? What is that? Looks like a marshmallow. Yeah. Like a, somebody roasted that shit too damn long. I you don't even roasted like roasted marshmallows, marshmallows actually. Yeah, I'm just that hungry. Uh, she's that one person bitching about the roasted marshmallows. I just eat them. I just eat the marshmallows. All right. So I let's... think it's because when I was little, like really little, like five or so, I went camping with the family, and uh -huh. then we ate like you know roasted weenies and marshmallows and all that. And, and now weenies and marshmallows give you they make me really trauma. sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just the thought of like a roasted weenie or roasted marshmallow kind of makes me want to throw up the thought of roasting a weenie makes me want to throw up too i, <laughs> I i've mentioned this one before as well guys but i hate the, the, the calling weenie. them weenies man <laughs> uh, that's what i don't they like are. it no they're not they're wieners they're not wieners they at one time they were wieners, but then people started calling other stuff Oscar wieners. Oscar Meyer wieners. I I get it. But it then, says it on the package. Jinx. Then people started calling other things wieners, and now well, I only associate. I mean, the word can you blame them? Because it does look a lot like a sausage in a way. It's I guess. disgusting. A penis? <laughs> no, I mean like that. They made food that looks like a penis. Just to get it's women weird. to eat. <laughs> it's just like a sausage. Put your mouth on it. <laughs> You'll like it. All right, so we completed a wave. Awesome. I don't have any waves are are in each stage. Five hundred. Should have checked that last time. Well, we completed that last stage. Once again, we're alone. Yeah, we're all alone. We need to call some some men. It's men <laughs> in our life. Get some dudes. Right, we're gonna call some dudes. Not enough sausages on this beach. There's a lot of sausage talk in this episode. It's just because we're hungry. Guys. It really is. I can fuck a bratwurst up. Oh my god, why'd you have to mention bratwurst <laughs> out of all things? Because it's delicious. People That's are really the only thinking, weenie I want in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> People are really thinking that we never eat. Like, we are still starving even now today. <laughs> Because we're always talking about food in our videos. That's the only reason people support us on Patreon. Yep. Like, here, have a burger. Uh, have a burger on me. Uh, get some, like, get some should... sausage in that mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we should put that on the Patreon. If you want to buy us a weenie. <laughs> I think people might take it a different way, Jinx. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, we'll start getting actual wieners in our mailbox. <laughs> Pictures of wieners, yeah. We'll have people posting pay on our Discord. People will be posting wiener pics. Oh, gosh. Don't do that. <laughs> you won't feel so great about yourself later. <laughs> <laughs> or are you going to comment on their weenie size, Jinx? What? Not just size, shape, texture, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> See, you better have the most beautiful penis ever if you're going to post it. <laughs> Essentially, is where, where she's going with this. It better be a good-looking penis so she has nothing to say. All right, this is another uh, video that's gotten completely out of hand. Don't they all? <laughs> they do, don't they? They don't come. They just. They all. Like I said, I always wonder. I don't know what that guy's doing. We'll blow him up though. I always wonder if uh, before developers give us their games, if they actually watch some of our videos and know what what they're getting. I know, especially the ones who like email us and they're like, "Oh, I saw you know this series or whatever." Uh -huh. I'm like, uh, "Are you sure you watched it all the way through?" Maybe they liked it though. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they're, maybe like, they're oh. just as vulgar and nasty as we yeah. are. I don't know. I mean, it's possible. I mean, have you seen some of these games? Yeah. There's some nasty shit in some <laughs> of these damn games. Look at that guy. He's stomping his friend. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. That dude was stomping his fucking friend. Um, but yeah, I don't know that this this that this video could have gone anywhere but vulgar, considering the fact that it's a game that doesn't really provide 
kind of, I mean, you're just shooting dudes, man. Yeah, you're, you're not shooting talking men. about the game. Yeah, there's not really a lot to talk about in the game except for when they do weird shit like stomp on it and their, their friends and shit. Uh, which is fucked up, by the way. Don't do that shit. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a game that's going to result in classic P plus J commentary. Oh, no, he's going to... Oh, I can't he's shoot. shooting right at I'm, you. I was shooting at him. It was taking forever to reload. I had a jam or something. I don't know. He fell asleep. Uh, I'm just sleeping a little bit. Uh, on these sandbags, man. I don't know how many times I've slept on some fucking sandbags. <laughs> sandbags... They're they're not really comfortable. I mean, they're kind of hard. Um, I think that's the guy we gotta kill right there. I mean, nothing's really comfortable. <laughs> yeah, but you in the military, you get to the stage where you can sleep anywhere you on just anything. Prop your helmet right up on your weapon. <laughs> Hold your head up. <laughs> yeah, where you put the edge. <laughs> yeah. Of the, yeah, you put the edge of your helmet, and then because you got the chin strap on. It's like I'm combat ready, keeps your sergeant. Head up. <laughs> Yeah, I never was. I've never been a sleeper, guys. Uh, like I don't sleep a lot. I, I can sleep while marching, standing in formation. <laughs> well, what I was getting at is I've never been a sleeper. Like mm. I don't sleep very many hours, even today. I don't these days. I don't. I don't sleep much. I don't like sleeping. I feel like you're wasting your life away. But for some reason, when I was in the military, I was always fucking sleepy, man. I don't know. Maybe you just don't get enough sleep. I don't know what it is. Or maybe because you we just need to get call up some at more the ass crack of dawn man. and go running around places. Yeah, I think it's more like yeah, the exercise, the constant exercise. Um, oh oh no, oh, he got no. it. He did it. I'm over here reloading or something. We got the helicopter here to help us out. Everybody's already dead. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, got that guy killed. I don't even think he's shooting at anybody. Okay, maybe he got that guy. I think this is a fantastic look at the game, though. This is definitely shows you what, what you're going to get in the game. So if you are a fan of these type of games, uh, the shooting games, which for me, on a on a controller, it's not as much fun as, you know, if you're you're actually in the, the arcade and you have, like, you know, a real plastic gun and that you can... Bacteria. Yeah, and, and you all get... All that. Yeah, I want that bacterial-covered helmet on my face. You know, to give me the real, true experience of combat. You know, the, the combat inside your body. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to fight the bacteria off. Uh, and yeah, then all the smells of uh, that you'd find in combat, which is shit and vomit from people, uh, their bowels being also shot open. You find that in arcades. Yeah, that's the, those same smells. So it's just, it's more accurate. It feels like more of a combat experience, I, f I feel, if you do this in the arcade. That boat just disappeared into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, James. <laughs> Don't think too hard about it. All right. No, oh, no. Now I'm just oh. wondering, like, who are we fighting? We're going to get... Like Poseidon? I told you who are, but we just blew that dude's head Holy off. Holy shit, you showed in. All right. So graphic. At least it's accurate, because if you shot somebody's head with a, a 50 caliber machine gun uh, up close, you would their head would explode into a thousand little pieces. All right, how many, how many more I mean, dudes do we got left here. of the wave? This is only wave two. Jeez Louise. All right, so we need we need to call another supply drop. And we need to use these rockets. Give me a dude or something to shoot a rocket at. We got nothing to shoot rockets There's at. There's a dude somewhere. Oh, right there. There's a ship. And I missed. Ah. <laughs> That's salty. Son of a bitch. Got him that time. Ha ha. All right, uh, they give me more health. I guess we can get it. Oh, more rockets? rockets. Rockets. All right. What? Oh, I failed. Why did we fail? It was a side mission you had to do. Oh, okay. Well, there wasn't any KG dudes to shoot at. All right, so bullets now always cause kamikazes to explode immediately. Rocket explosions set targets on fire. Multiple spatulas. And let's do this one. Maybe our ally soldiers will last a little longer. Does that apply to the ones you've already got? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we can test. Oh. <laughs> he died pretty quick. I don't think it worked. <laughs> yeah, my bad, guys. Don't shoot your allies in the don't. back. Don't. Yeah, you really shouldn't. That's just wrong. See, like, what I don't understand is why all the kamikaze dudes are yellow even though they're really far away. Yeah. It's not really that big of a threat. Because they're a threat. <laughs> you got to take care of them ASAP. Oh, we got a red dude over here somewhere. Is it the, these guys on the beach? No. Get him. All right, so we need to eliminate two enemies using a rocket. All right, so okay. we can do that. 
Side mission completed. Got it. Get it. All right, so we really need to pay attention to those side missions. I hate when they tell me True, I failed. I know. I'm like, wait a minute. They what just did ruined I do? my self esteem and shit. What did I do wrong? Ah, uh, fuck. All right, so we're getting a lot of enemies. It feels like I don't have a lot of allies either. And I can't switch. They just, they said I have to call supplies. Oh, there's like a whole truck full of dudes to your left. Is there? All right, we'll blow them up. Uh, eliminate three enemies using a rocket. Okay. Um, can we get those guys? Look at all the kamikaze dudes. That's I think we completed it. Side mission completed. Side mission completed. completed. Alright, so we need to get one hit kills, I guess. Oh, we get one hit kills for five seconds. Oh shit. So doing the side no one to shoot. Yeah, doing the side missions gives you those little bonuses up there in the corner. Alright, let's call in supplies, I guess. We don't have any rockets left. Or health. Well our health goes up on its own now. Slowly. Yeah, slowly. And also for so shooting guys. Slowly. You like sap their health. Mm. Nom, 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 nom. Alright, so we're we're all full up now. Alright, so they want us to eliminate Get a headshot. I mean, it's really hard to hit hit him in the head. What are you talking about? You just Well you it. get it, but I mean you're not really aiming at that. I think I think one of those those kamikaze guys just got me. Yeah, I think a couple of them did. Well, because I'm not even looking. Like, I just kind of like, I look at one direction and I spray yeah. until until there's no until one there's no one at. left, and then I'll turn. It's like they run down the beach holding hands. Mm-hmm. Bestest pals. Oh, we're going out together. That beautiful music. Haven't do you guys do seen? Do do. <laughs> <laughs> Being on this beach is making me think of Baywatch. Haven't you guys oh. seen the new Baywatch movie? Because like, you need know, a real actual opinion. Yeah, we need somebody's opinion here because, oops, I did not hit oops. him. There's like these guys are just stacking up on top of each other, <laughs> not even doing anything. Yeah, it's super stupid. Um, so yeah, everybody jokes about how terrible it was, and all the reviews I've read say it's terrible. But the trailers look like it was gonna be funny, man. I know. We thought it was gonna be funny, uh, but now I'm like, I've heard enough like bad reviews of it that i feel like if i watch it and it's garbage then it's gonna be my own goddamn fault and everybody's just like oh my god how fucking old is that movie <laughs> i know the reason why we're talking about it now i know it came out a little while ago uh the reason why we're talking about it now is because we actually just watched uh we one of our our favorite uh, youtube channels a little shout out here guys is uh first we feast uh, we love that channel hell yeah yeah, the hot I, ones. Yeah, just I want to be on the hot ones. Just digging the hot ones show. It's I excellent. I would fuck those wings up, but then I would die. If you haven't watched Hot <laughs> Ones, you need to watch it. What the premise of it is, is uh, there's apparently a dude somewhere. Oh, it's just that ship. Celebrity interviews. It's celebrity interviews, and they have to eat uh, a line of wings. What's it like, ten wings or something? Yeah, like that? it's it's a lot of wings. And it gets hotter, progressively hotter as you go. The wings do. And apparently they're pretty fucking hot uh, from everybody who's been on there. Uh, it seems like they're they're very very spicy wings. Uh, so what's what's so great about the show is like seeing these these celebrities who have so much composure. They've done so many interviews. They've been doing this for a long fucking time. But they're in pain. <laughs> and seeing them eating these wings and just losing all that composure as they sweat <laughs> and. Uh, just to struggle, shit their pants, <laughs> shit their pants. Uh, just struggle to deal with these extremely spicy wings. Uh, it's just, I don't know, there's something special about the show. It's it's enjoyable. And on top of the wings, there's another element that makes it really great, and that's the questions. The interviewer, who's kind of a weirdo, he's, he's kind of a weird dude, guy. but he does, they do their research, him and his team do a fantastic job. I don't have any... Uh, we I'm just gonna nothing. call this. Yeah, I can't shoot rockets here. They do a, fa a fantastic job with the research, and they always have really, really good questions uh, for the the guest. Uh, so yeah, the, it's it's combination of the wings and the great questions that make the show so good. If you haven't checked it out, you really need to watch it. Uh, and the reason why we brought this up is because that actually is uh, uh, was uh, the Baywatch was referenced on oh, yeah. a recent Hot Ones uh, where they asked um, the Kevin Hart Kevin Hart the worst uh, that was the truther 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 dab right yeah yeah and they asked uh, Kevin Hart uh, to rank the Rock's latest movies 
And he had like five movies he had to rank. And he, he ranked Baywatch as the worst one. <laughs> and I was like, really? It's the worst one? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Jumanji was pretty good. I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, that was funny. I liked it. Which is, that's why they were bringing up the rocks. I was thinking recently... Jumanji was going to be a disappointment, but... That's when I how first I heard movies these that days. they were going to do, well, whenever they, they've got to do these, like, movies from our childhood mm-hmm. and from when you're younger, uh, they've like, got to make these sequels or remakes or, I don't know, they're just always terrible. And you're just like, why'd you touch it, man? Leave it alone. Stop it. I never thought I'd be telling somebody, don't touch it. Don't, <laughs> don't touch, touch it. Don't touch my stuff. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of these guys. Fucking they're not even childhood. They're not even doing anything. There's no reason for us even to destroy those guys. Got a kamikaze. Um, I need, you grab him I'm trying to. It's, it's time, it's guys. It's over there. It's time to go. But to, to finish, food. to finish what we were saying though, and I guess we'll finish this this stage or whatever because it looks like we're almost done under this wave. Oh, we don't even get to eat when we're done here. We don't. We gotta go to the oh, gym. Oh fuck! Are we going to the gym when we're done here? Oh shit! I guess. Not. What time is it? <laughs> I don't know. It seems it's like dinner time. Yeah, it seems like it's it dinner is. time. I'm pretty <laughs> fucking hungry. Um, what was the fuck was I saying? So, oh yeah, and the, but the Jumanji movie, guys. That's, yeah. that's what I was trying to finish off on. Is the Jumanji movie was pretty good. It was funny, man. It was all right. I liked it. Uh, I think that the actors did a great job. Like trying to, they had to pretend that they were kids, mm-hmm. uh, and sometimes even different genders Jack than what they Black. were. And Jack Black was great, man. Jack Black was awesome in it. He's supposed to be like a teenage girl. and uh, <laughs> I think Jack Black is a teenage girl, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Who, where are these enemies all at? God damn it. Um, I wonder how many waves there are. It's, it, it would seem like it would be three, three waves seems about right. Because if, if that's the case, then we could end it here. They really well, want me to could. call. I'm going to call the spatula, guys. Because Jinx is hungry. Yeah, bring in the burgers, <laughs> baby. Right, I'm trying to destroy this guy here. Uh, clearly, we got some people behind us. Do we have any points we could spend? <laughs> Get you your do. blanket. What? I don't know what that trophy's for. Is the that trophy. <laughs> that trophy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get that even though we never use rockets. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to check when we're done. Oh, kamikaze guys Maybe everywhere. Maybe for... Shit, ah. Ah, I don't have any rockets. You got nothing. Yeah, we we haven't had rockets this whole time. Because I call for shit and then I'll fucking send what I need. Oh, we, need. we actually need some health right now. Yeah, we do. Oh, we need Harry. a bad. Oh, fuck. Shoot There's it guys the everywhere air. I think we just oh, lost. Oh, no. <gasps> you oh, died. I died. I was about to say, we did it. Oh, damn. The last moment, we didn't. All right, so okay. we died, guys. Well, I'm, I'm really anyway. curious because these do take a long time. Uh, I'm really curious if, if it's got different maps. It says a harbor. So you'd assume that... You know, I think that there's there's four maps. Okay. Gun Beach. At night. The harbor. The, the Air Force. And then Hag, Hag, Hagnata, I guess. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Yeah, because it's got all those uh, uh, swigglies yeah, and circles yeah. and shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I think it's four maps, and you do them once in the day and, and once at, at nighttime. Uh, so that answers the question of whether there's multiple maps. But yeah, I think that's a good look at Heavy Fire Red Shadow. This is we're only planning to do one video for this this game. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this look at this short look at this this game. Uh, and if it's something that uh, you would enjoy, make sure you go check it out in your given store, whether it's PlayStation Store. Uh, what is the Xbox store called? Xbox Nobody cares. Store. Who cares about Xbox? <laughs> I'm always giving Xbox shit, man. I used to like Xbox. Uh, or Steam. Uh, you can go check it out. Uh, but not entirely sure of the price yet. Uh, but we'll post a link to the PlayStation Store's uh, entry for this game. I'll post that link in the description of the video. You can find any links, any and all links, in the description of the video for all of our videos, whether it's our Discord channel, uh, our social media sites, you and know, Patreon, Facebook. Patreon, buy us a burger. Yeah, or Patreon, <laughs> you, know, you can buy us a burger. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, uh, and then also go check out some of our other videos. I think it was a good look at the game, though. Had fun with it. Uh, I think the commentary was interesting. It's colorful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, also leave a comment. Let us know what you thought of the video of the game. Love hearing from you guys. Read and reply to all comments. And that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching.